All right, folks, uh, welcome to level four tutorial for hackertest.net. Um, hopefully, you guys didn't have too much problem in the first three level. Uh, level four, I've done this already. It's, it's, it's uh, a few days ago. It's, it's kind of easy. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, first, of course, let's see what type of error this uh, shoots back if we um, do uh, the wrong thing. So let's test that out. All right, so we get a password box. Interesting. And if uh, we get the wrong one, it says try again. All right, so let's take a look at the source code. Control F, let's look at password. Zero instance, PW, nope. Pass, nope. Function, nope. All right. So let's take a look at the actual script itself. All right, so this is the HTML part. Hmm. All right, so this is basically congratulation. Next part is right here. I'm just going to, this is a hyperlink. Let me press on, okay, that's the actual um, snippet. All right, let me get rid of these. I don't want to get your source code. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> these are the ads. I noticed there was a JavaScript box that popped up. I don't see the code here. Um, so in this particular um, level four, um, this is what I tried. I tried turning off so uh, the JavaScript and seeing what, is, what would happen. So just go to settings. I'm in Google Chrome, by the way. Show more advanced setting. And then under privacy, go to content setting. And it says here, first you want to look at manage exception, make sure that hackertest.net isn't on there. And we want to turn off, uh, do not allow any site to run JavaScript, and press done. Now let's go ahead and go back here and press this again and see what happens. All right, level five. That was easy. Okay. So basically, level four, all we have to do is turn off the JavaScript. Um, all right, folks, if you like this one, uh, it's a short one, <laughs> go ahead and like and subscribe. Otherwise, um, go ahead and go on to the next uh, tutorial, which is level five.